Okay, today we are going to learn how to register for the 2021 Slumberland Bed Race for Bridging. So this is the main Bed Race page. And we're gonna scroll down and take a look at our three main buttons. In this video, we're gonna focus on registering for the event. So we're gonna to click to register. And how would you like to participate? I'd like to register today. So we're gonna put in an email address. This is gonna be a sample today, but you should use the email um, where you would uh, be checking it regularly as event updates and things you need to know will come to this email address. So we're going to use my dog, um, Hopper, as an example. So he'll have, he'll have an example account. Okay, so we're gonna give him an account here. And he's new, so we have to create an account. Okay, and we're putting in here his name. The email flows over and we're gonna give him a password. It needs to be eight characters with some um, uh, specialty characters in there as well. Okay, and then we're gonna create the account. Okay, and it's asking, do we wanna create a team or an individual? So we'll do an individual today. And it's asking me again, would you as an individual like to set up a team or would you just like to continue by yourself? So I'm gonna choose an individual fundraiser. And we're gonna hit continue. And this is just telling you, hey, what is a virtual bed racer? Um, you can do the bed race your own way in your own location, whatever you feel like doing, robe and jammies your best bed race costume. Just make sure that you submit a photo or a video up to 60 seconds uh, to share it with all of us. And one of the main ways to do this is first to register um, because there is a required fundraising fee of $50 per entry. And to, to be able to fundraise that, you need to sign up on the page. And so here's where it just asks a little bit of personal information. So again, the, the name flows over. And we're going to put in an address for Hopper. This happens to be the bridging address. Um, so we'll, that seems fitting for this sample video. And the reason it asks for phone numbers is because we do do some text um, to give and things like that. So if you can put in your mobile number, that's best. Um, and it does default to that $50 because that is the minimum fundraising entry fee. Um, but let's say Hopper wants to submit two entries. Let's just give him a minimum goal of $100, okay? You can also kickstart your fundraising with an optional gift right at the beginning. It's not required, but it's something you can do to show people that you're ready to go. Here's where you would want to indicate if your donation can be matched. You can put in your company's name and the amount that you want matched. Um, that is something that staff will follow up on, um, but a lot of our fundraisers um, have employee workplaces that have those programs. Um, and here is another required question. If you are with a sponsor company, its name will show up here and you need to indicate that upon registering. Um, right now, we're just gonna put that Hopper is not with a sponsor team. And then we have a uh, assumption of risks and release of liability document um, for your safety, um, acknowledging um, that you are doing this event on your own in your own location. And also um, uh, just noting that by turning in the photo and video entries, um, you consent to the use of those for promotional purposes as there will be a contest portion of this event. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click that waiver and continue. And then it's just saying, okay, here's your completed registration. There are no fees to register. You could have chosen to do an initial donation and that would have shown up here, um, which we did not um, because Hopper is a dog, um, but then the total is $0. So uh, this is where we'll want to head and complete registration.
The next video will show you how to use your fundraising tools to edit your personal page and share the event to get donations. Thanks for watching.